Hey there, Arelli here from withhisgifts.com. Welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. Today I have a brand new video tutorial for you and we're going to create this adorable Valentine treat box. So let's go ahead and get started. For my paper I have a single sheet of Recollections 110 pound white cardstock. I'll be cutting this down to form my treat box. I'm using Crepe Paper's 14 collection. This is a digital collection that is jam-packed with all kinds of vintage vibes. I love every single piece of the collection, but today I am specifically using these lovely pieces here. I used Recollections 65 pound white cardstock to print these pieces along with some of the gorgeous papers included in the collection. In this super cute blue diamond pattern, I have two pieces that are cut at five and three quarters by two and three quarters. I have one piece cut at five and three quarters by one and three quarters, and one piece cut at five and three quarters by a quarter inch. And then in this gorgeous floral print, I have two pieces cut at five and three quarters by two and three quarters. One piece cut at five and three quarters by quarter inches. And in this adorable red heart pattern, I have a single piece that is cut at five by six inches. This heart here was cut um, using Stampin' Up's Sweet and Sassy die set. This is a retired set, but I do have a link on the corresponding blog post to um, a die set that will serve as a good substitute if you don't already have a heart-shaped die or cut file in your craft room. I cut these gorgeous doily shapes using Stampin' Up's Stitched Shapes die set. I cut the words love you using the Momenta Hello Word Fetty dies and the 65 pound white cardstock. I'll be using some of this white pom pom trim that I picked up from the Target Dollar Spot. And I have a piece of some hug snug white seam binding that I have crinkled. I'll be using some adhesive pearls. Um, by David Tutera. Um, my art glitter glue. My fabric tack glue. My dimensionals. I'll also be using my scoreboard, paper trimmer, and scissors. And then for some of the pre work and some of the cut pieces that you've already seen. I used my laser printer to print and my Cricut to cut some of the elements and I also used my Big Shot for the die cuts. And finally it wouldn't be much of a treat box without a treat would it so we have a Hershey's milk chocolate candy bar. I'm going to go ahead and cut the pieces that I need for my treat box. I have my paper trimmer here and a piece of the 110 pound cardstock that I will be cutting down to six inches by six and a half inches okay and then this piece here that we just cut off I'm going to cut that down to eight inches by three inches Okay, let me move this out of the way and get my scoreboard. So I have my scoreboard. I'm going to go ahead and grab my six by six and a half piece. And I'm going to make sure that my six and a half inch side is horizontal. And I'm going to score at three. And three and a half. And my other 8 inch um, piece of cardstock. I'm going to put this on my 8 inch side horizontally 
And then I am going to score this at half an inch, one inch, seven inches, and seven and a half inches. And then I'm going to turn it. Doesn't matter which side because they're both identical. Um, but turn it now the long way on the vertical. And we are going to score at half inch and one inch. Okay, and let me get this scoreboard out of my way. So next I'm gonna go ahead and fold and crease my score marks just so that I can see them better. So go ahead and score all of your score marks. Okay, so here are my pieces. Um, they have been scored and creased. This piece is fine the way that it is. This piece, however, we will need to cut away. Um, you will notice this corner here. It's a square with four smaller squares in it. We are going to cut that away, just like so. Like that. And then we will take and cut our corners at an angle. So from the score line, angle, and then cut. And we're going to do the same thing for, to this so side. So then this is what we're left with. And then also, I don't think that I have mentioned it, but this project is totally inspired by Lady E, who has a video um, showing um, a little treat box for her chocolate bar. She used a dye, um, and I did not. So... But yeah, it was totally inspired by her. So here are our pieces. We're gonna go ahead and grab our pattern paper and make this dark white paper um, a little more gorgeous. So let's go ahead and start with our blue. And my art glitter glue. So I am going to apply glue to the back of this. Okay, so I jumped the gun on the glue. I'm going to grab my seam binding first. And I'm going to put glue down the middle of this one here. So this is going to form our treat box. And I don't think I showed you the treat box in its entirety. Here it is again. Um, you'll see that it's a little 3D. And it is has a closure here, seam binding closure. So you're going to open it up to reveal this lovely little pocket that holds... A lovely Hershey's candy bar that is wrapped in this lovely paper so this is what we are going to make and I apologize for not showing that to you in the beginning but now you know so maybe you'll stick around right okay back to the project so I'm going to put some glue here down the middle because this is our um, outer part then I'm going to stretch out my seam binding here. I'm going to find my middle. Okay. And then I am going to put the middle down on the middle. And then press it into the glue. Like so. Here we go. Crisis averted. So now I'm going to pick up the piece that I put glue on. And we are going to center it. And 
Okay, like so. Um, and then I'm going to show you, I'm going to do this part and this part here. Okay. Um, and I won't bore you with that on camera. I'll be back when it's done. And that's what we have so far. I'm going to go ahead and set this aside, grab the other piece here. So I have, um, this piece here and I completely forgot that I needed more pieces. So this is five and three quarters by a quarter inch and then these are quarter inch by um, one and three quarters that will go I'll show you so this will go like so um, so this is going to go like this I'm going to go ahead and glue that and be right back Okay, and there is that piece. I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece and flip it. And I will be gluing these pieces down like so. And then I will be right back. Okay, so there's what we have. Now this piece here will go like this and we'll do that in a second. So these pieces fold over like this to form like a little pocket um, and then that gets attached um, like so but before we do that I am going to because I want this flat to find these pieces here and put them on here while this is flat um, because it'll be easier to put on there while it's flat. So I'm just going to put some glue, little bits of glue on the back of these words. I'm going to put it right so, just so I gauge it right because I'm OCD like that right about there okay next is you so um, I am going to package this lovely little um, treat box or boxes um, and send them off to my granddaughter and daughter um, so, if your project is not going to someone that you love like that, you may change the sentiment on the inside or leave it out altogether. Okay, and then this little heart is going to go right there, just like that. Gorgeous. All right, so next I am going to go ahead and put glue on this corner here and this corner here so that we can kind of close this up prior to mounting it onto the other piece. So we'll bring that down like so and hold it for a quick second. This glue dries quickly, also dries clear. Hold it until it's got a grip. Now let's do this side, like so. Hold it. Just like that. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, so now we're gonna set this aside. This eventually will go right here, but we're gonna work on the pieces that go on the front of here. And again, we want to mount that while that's all flat so so I have my heart and the pieces that are going to be on there I'm gonna grab my dimensionals and I'm gonna flip this heart over I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back just so that it pops up 
it has a little bit of dimension. Okay. Then I am going to set that um, like so, but I'm not going to press down just yet. Because I want to make sure that everything is where it should be. Put a little dimensional there, there. Actually, no, because this is going to overlap. So, let's see what I'm doing here. That's right. All right, I'll show you in a second because I know I can confuse people. All right, so this is going to overlap like so. So, I only put a dimensional here. And actually, I'm going to take this dimensional off because it's a little bit too big. I'm going to grab my little baby dimensionals. Um, mini dimensionals. Now, the dimensionals, the bigger ones, and these are both from Stampin' Up! So, just so we can see what I'm trying to accomplish here, this is going to lay like this. So there should be no dimensionals on the back of the red flower or the yellow flowers. So when you turn that around, you can see what that looks like. And this little tiny dimensional can go right here just so that that doesn't get ruined. Okay? All right, so now I think we are good. I'm going to take the backing off of all of these pieces and put them down all at one time. Hold on a second. That's not coming off. There we go. That's off? Yeah. Okay, so that's off. These are all off. Okay, so back to where... And it's okay if um, part of the word gets um, covered. It's perfectly fine. So actually that's not going to work. Oh, a rally. Let's just do it one at a time. Like I originally planned. Stop changing up your plans, Aureli. They don't work when you do that. Okay. So like so. I believe so. Alright. So then on this piece here, this little stamp, little postage stamp, I'm going to use a couple of the bigger dimensionals like that. And this collection here, I love it when a collection is so gorgeous that it does all the work because it really does. Um, okay, that's down and that's down. I'm going to go ahead and press that down. Uh, and then I'm going to tuck this behind, like so. There we go. So that's what that piece looks like. But I was saying that I love it when a collection does all the work. Um, when a collection is this gorgeous, you really, really, really um, don't have to work that hard to make something look gorgeous. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do here... Um, actually, no, we need some trim. Sorry. Meow. Sound effects. Um, here's my pom-pom trim. I'm going to get my glue, my fabric tack glue, and then I'm going to flip this heart over, and I'm going to apply some of this glue. I really need some more of this stuff. reason I'm using um, the fabric tack glue is I find, in my opinion, that when I am gluing down ribbon and trim, um, that it works better for me. So, I'm putting some around the edge, like so. I don't know if you can see that. But then I'm going to take this trim, and then I am going to... So I don't know if you can see that there is some, um, a little bit of a lip. I don't know if that's what you call it, but a little bit of a lip. And that's what I am going to glue down to the back of this. 
because then just the pom-poms will be exposed and it will trim my heart all the way around with the cute little pom-poms. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. Just going to go all the way around just like you see me doing here and gluing that down. And I'll be right back. And there is the heart with the pom-pom trim. Gorgeous. Next we're going to grab these two pieces here. One of the pieces we're going to cut right in half like so. Then we are going to go ahead and grab out, I'm going to grab this tape runner here. I'm going to put some glue or tape on it just like this. Okay, we, so the piece that we didn't cut goes this way here and then these pieces here I'm going to bring this here for my for a reference point. So this is like this and this is going to come to right about there. Okay, then the bottom one is going to come to right about there. Don't worry about being perfect because the heart is going to be right on top of that. Okay, that looks good to me. We are going to put this down on the front of this card with some of the same um, tape burners, right? So then let's sign, or we're going to center it top, bottom, left, right of the front panel here as much as I can while being on camera like that. Not straight. Okay. So let's close this up. Maybe that's going to be easier. There we go. Okay, so there is that. Next thing we're going to do is flip this hard over. I have some of these bigger pop circles and I am going to put some on the back of this heart so that it can be popped up. Okay, so I have um, my little pop-ups there. I'm going to tilt this a little bit. I don't want it straight up and down. I'm going to tilt it to the left, just a skosh just to give it some more definition, just like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab these um, pearls. And I have, so these are all in a strip. I'm going to cut three and three. And then I am going to just because I felt like the top and the bottom were, there was a lot of blank space there. And I didn't want to overdo it because I really wanted it to be a little simplistic card. I'm going to put three up here on this corner. And the other three that I cut on the diagonal corner here. So let me flip this over. And like so and that is the front very simple but very beautiful so now we're gonna get on the inside and grab this piece here and what we are going to do is put some glue all the way around like so Okay, and then make sure that the front is the front. <laughs> um, and we're going to line this up like so. Okay, so we're lining it up and pressing all the way around here. 
And then what I like to do is grab um, a bone holder. This one here works good because it's more flat. And then I am just making sure to burnish that real nice and good. Okay, and there's our little pocket. So the final step is to grab our little candy bar, like so. And we're gonna get this going here so it forms around like so, right? And then I am going to go ahead and grab some glue and put that on this end here. It'll just be like a little belly bang, belly band. Okay, nice and snug. Okay, like so. And then for this here, this little piece is gonna go across the front of my candy bar. I'm putting some more glue on here. And we're gonna press that down. Like so. And there is our candy. This gets slid right into here, fits like a glove. Then we tie it up. Have it super duper easy, super duper quick, and super duper gorgeous. And if you don't have any of the papers that I used in today's project, Go through your craft room and use what you have. Just make some of these gorgeous little Valentine treat boxes for somebody you love today. I have for you today. As always, thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, please leave me a comment down below. Like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, thank you and have a great day.